Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my, my daily forecast for Friday, May 21st, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index, which uh, technically fell apart today. So down 0 0.70, give or take. Uh, we are testing the previous lows here. We have been basically in this area uh, twice the last two trading days. If you manage to break it below here, then we are looking at the previous lows here back in, this was basically first in January. So 89, 89.15 and uh, then much lower than that. So um, we are getting fairly overstretched here. So a rally would not be surprising. And uh, of course, that will be uh, working against the most uh, commodities and precious metals uh, if that if this were to rally as there's a negative correlation between US dollar index and the uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, um, commodities and precious metals. So if you look at technical indicators, we can see that the uh, MACD is bearish still, the stochastic is bearish, CCI is bearish, and so is the RSI. So they do not favor the upside at this current stage. So let's get oil. So oil is uh, falling and falling and falling. And uh, the main reason for this is uh, due to Iran. So, so there are negotiations on the way at the moment um, in order to, uh, to renegotiate or basically get the same, uh, same uh, deal as uh, prior to the ones that the Donald Trump basically uh, ruined. And that would mean that uh, Iran will be able to sell oil and that will increase supply. And of course, that will be very negative for, for the price of oil there. More supply, the lower the price. So expectations is that there is going to be a deal, apparently, if you consider the, how the market has been behaving. But it is, um, it is uh, not falling apart. We could see this fall apart if, uh, if that were the case. We can look at, for example, the... Fibonacci retracements, and we can see that uh, there are areas where we could fall too. For example, the first Fibonacci retracement is there at 50, 54, and then we have the 50 right here at the uh, 200 moving average, and this is probably as far as this will drop. So we could drop all the way down to 50 uh, before finding a massive amount of support. To the upside, we have the 50 moving average and 20 exponential that we have to break through. But to break above this previous highs here, that opens the door to 70. So let's look at uh, natural gas. So natural gas continues to, uh, to fall and it's not strange. Uh, we got way ahead of ourselves, uh, got significantly overbought here, and now we're basically pulling back. But the middle of the bunch band is holding. And as long as that is the case, we could run... Uh, round off here and then go back to the uh, to the highs technical indicators are still very bearish so um, we could also stabilize here for a while before going higher break below here opens the door to the 50 and the 200 moving average down at 2.76 so let's look at copper so most commodities pressure metals are retreating and so is copper so copper is trading underneath the 20 exponential at the moment and that's a fairly rare thing um, it could be an indication that we'll go and test the 50 moving average down here at the 4.27 technical gears are do favor the downside at this point all of them are pointing to lower levels momentum is definitely to the downside so 50 moving average is down here at the 4.3 and we'll run into the middle of bottom of the bullish band uh, 4.37 first so yes let's look at gold so the news is that um at least in uh, institutional investors um, uh, are basically dropping uh, bitcoin as a store for value which uh, well uh, yes, these are basically a digital a digital um, gold. I don't buy that at all. Uh, if you want to uh, invest in something that is uh, stable and then you invest in gold and uh, that is what basically is happening here. People are turning away from Bitcoin as a store for, uh, for value and then they're basically um, buying gold instead. And that could be very interesting for this market uh, 
we are getting fairly overstretched. We are overbought at this point. We have been rallying from the very bottom here. And uh, we are continuing rallying. And uh, it looks like we are going to test 1900 uh, before we are, we are break, going to break down. But uh, if we were to break down from here, then we have uh, 1850 right above the 200 moving average and the 20 exponential that is moving in this direction. Break below here, then we have the 50 and then all the way down to the very bottom. But it looks like the focus is more on gold at this current stage than, um, than for example, Bitcoin, which has been uh, where people have pumped the money in, in recent uh, recent months. Technical indicators are fairly mixed. MACD is still very bullish. Stochastic is bearish. The CCI is bullish and the RSI is flat but overbought. So let's look at silver. So silver is uh, pulling back a little bit. We did get uh, this uh, shooting star here and uh, it's a very negative candlestick and it looks like we also fell and now we're trading just sideways. Technical indicators are fairly mixed. Uh, MACD is still bullish, the stochastic is bearish, the CCI is bear bullish and the RSI is flat. 20 exponential has offered a massive amount of support so we could see uh, this pull back towards the 20 and then people will buy it right here. Uh, because they can see what basically has been happening in the past. If we break below the 20 exponential, then we could uh, head towards the 50 down at 26. Otherwise, it looks like we are grinding sl slowly towards these uh, previous highs here and up towards $30. So let's look at platinum. Yes, so this is uh, trying to rally and then it broke down again. Um, so we're still in this channel, so uh, we are bouncing from the bottom and breaking down from the top and that we have been doing for a very long time now. We are at the bottom right now and if we stabilize here, we could see this turn around and head back towards the highs of the uh, Bollinger Band at 1260. Break below here could open the door to 1100 and the 50, 200 moving average. Technical indicators are still very bearish indeed. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium is slowly grinding towards the 50 moving average. It's similar to uh, most other uh, metals like copper and platinum and so on. They are, they are not platinum, but, but especially copper. They are grinding slowly towards support, which is a 50 moving average. Technical indicators are very bearish, so we may see more uh, momentum to the downside in the next few trading sessions. Uh, trading sessions. If we break below the 20 exponential, then we could head towards uh, uh, 3,000. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium tested the 50 moving average. It's very similar also here in, in, in aluminium. It tested the 50 moving average and then bounced. Um, we'll probably have another go at the 50 moving average. If that breaks, then we could head to a 2250 and probably all the way down to the 200 moving average. Technical indicators are very bearish indeed for at this current stage. We have been dropping from uh, 2,571 all the way down to the 50 moving average down here at the 2,311. So this was a fairly big bounce and uh, a lot of support right at the 50 moving average. So let's look at nickel. So nickel continues to break down after this rally here and now we're trading underneath the 20 exponential. We're probably going to test the 50 and the 200 moving average. Technical indicators are very negative at this current stage. So break below the 50 opens the door back towards the 200 moving average, which we tested previously and that was a massive amount of support. So let's look at sugar. So sugar did uh, rally a little bit. Nothing really happened here. Uh, we have been just been trading sideways for the last uh, few trading days. Break above the 50, opposite door to the top of the bullish band at 0 0.1794. Break below here, opposite door to the 50 at 0 0.1629. Technical indicators are either flat or bearish at this point. So let's look at cotton. So cotton continues to... Um, go lower we we'll mostly have a crossing of the 20 and the 50 moving average and the rallies at this point will mostly be rejected at the 20 or the 50. 
Taking the indicators are still very bearish. So it looks like we are heading back towards these previous lows here or probably towards the 200 moving average. So let's look at Kokoa. So Kokoa, yes, as I said, it looks like yesterday, it looks like we are trading within a square here and um, we have the bottom around, uh, give or take, uh, 2313 and the highs here at the top of the bullish at 2551 and it looks like we're heading back towards the previous lows but this has been a market that has been absolutely horrible to trade so this is this is uh, bitcoin 2.0 it is uh, all over the place and um, can have massive moves to the upside massive moves to the downside and uh, this my risk graph that is not for this whatsoever so i haven't been trading it for a very very long time Technical indicators otherwise are looking very bearish indeed. They're all turning around. So let's look at wheat. So wheat continues to drop. Now we are right at the 50 moving average and absolutely massive move to the upside and a collapse towards the downside. We also should be approaching Fibonacci retracements levels right here. We have broken the 50. We have the 60 right underneath here, 658. We are also right at where we found support also over here. And um, if the 50 breaks, then we are most likely going to test the 61.8. And if that breaks, that opens the door to the 200 and also all the way down to the very bottom here. So um, yes, but 50 at the moment is holding. Technical indicators are very bearish, but they are rounding off. And that usually is a very good indication that we could see this stabilize here and then go higher or we break lower so hope you find this helpful you want to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos and good luck and thank you very much